We're wrapping up Black History Month and we're in the middle of our civil rights unit here at Nixa High School uh, with our freshman classes, which is the American History class. We had a video conference with uh, the mayor of Sanford, uh, Florida, and the pol uh, chief of police, and then uh, one of their citizens uh, in Sanford who is, uh, was active in the civil rights movement and is still active uh, with civil rights. And uh, many people probably remember that uh, the Trayvon Martin uh, murder took place in Sanford, Florida. The connection is that the, uh, the mayor of Sanford is Jeff Triplett. And Jeff is a 1987 graduate of Nixa High School, uh, former teammate and classmate of mine, played basketball here at Nixa High School and played football as well. But uh, Jeff was thrust into uh, the national spotlight whenever that case happened and he had only been the mayor of, of Sanford for uh, approximately a year. So we grew up in a predominantly white community. So then for Jeff to, to go in and decide to be the mayor of this community, that's probably uh, around 15% African American uh, and very bitter uh, history between the, the community of Goldsboro and Sanford. I just had this crazy idea, you know, with, with technology, what it is today and um, being Black History Month, I, I just called him and I said, hey, how about let's do a video conference and let's talk and you tell your story. And I said, let's get uh, uh, Cecil in there and the chief of police and let's get Mrs. Oliver and, and let's get a first person point of view and perspective of the civil rights. And he was like, you bet, I'm all in. So. Mrs. Francis Oliver, Chief Cecil Smith, Mayor Jeff Triplett were all like, uh, like they're in the Sanford, Florida area. They kind of held their city like together uh, during this time. You're actually getting a perspective and behind the scenes on what these people experienced during it, and actually getting like in more depth and detail than what like actual textbooks can give to you. I mean, I think we developed more of an understanding what we did today, we got to ask our own questions, so it's more of an understanding on a personal level. One of the citizens that was there that spoke with us, Ms. Frances Oliver, uh, had been a part of the uh, SNCC during the 1960s, the Student Nonviolent uh, Committee, and was involved with the several sit-ins and involved with the desegregation of schools uh, in Seminole County in Florida. Uh, was a major part in helping Jeff uh, keep his city together um, you know, five years ago when all the protesters were coming in from all around the country, a, a new chief of police was hired and brought in, and uh, Cecil Smith is his name, but we had an opportunity to, to get a first person point of view and perspective uh, of both those individuals, and both of those individuals are African Americans, Mrs. Oliver and Mr. Smith. And it's also good to get their perspective, like it, she was talking about certain things like you don't think about, and she's over here like, this is how I feel, and you're like, wait, wow, that's like totally different from like how like we see things, and it was kind of cool instead of just like, again, with the textbooks, just reading about it and watching like these black and white videos, we got to actually discuss and find out how they felt and stuff like that, so. You know, at some point, you will, in your lifetime, will probably experience some form of discrimination. As Jeff mentioned in the, in the video and, and what he had said during uh, the protests uh, in Sanford, uh, I, I can't walk in your shoes and I don't know what you've experienced, but I can walk along beside you. And that's kind of what I want them to understand. Um, there, is a, there is a different perspective. Uh, and sometimes, you know, growing up here in, in Southwest Missouri, that's, we don't understand that perspective. But as I said also, um, these kids probably do have a little better understanding because of technology and uh, you know being able to communicate globally. I, I wanted them to see the, a different side of it, and, and I hope that they take away you know some of the emotion. Uh, you could see some of the emotion in Mrs. Oliver uh, telling her story, um, and you can see some of it with, with uh, the chief police as well. They risk their lives and they go out and like say how they feel. It's really brave, and so it's kind of. I was honored to like be able to talk to these people, especially Miss Francis, who like had been arrested a bunch of times and like just like she could have got killed, basically, and just putting herself out there for like stuff she believes in. Because like with Jim Crow laws, uh, this country has had a terrible history of slavery and segregation, and that it's just been like the last 40 years that we've finally sort of started breaking down this segregation barrier, and finally like accepting everyone for who they are as like equal human beings.